Hey, and welcome to all our Fox Sports Regional Network partners for the NBA and NHL. I'm Mike Hill from America's Pre-Game Show right here on Fox Sports 1. And I'm Molly McGrath. And as you know, Mike and I are on the air right about now, so we're unable to join you in person today. However, through the magic of digital imagery, we're with you in spirit. Mm -hmm. APG is appreciative of your efforts, and we're looking forward to working with your crew and your team in the upcoming season. Absolutely. Uh, most of you in the room there at the beautiful Terra oh, Resort, gorgeous. and it is gorgeous there. You guys played a crucial role in helping Fox Sports one, launch America's free game back in April. Your game previews, your reports, your analysis, crucial to helping us cover an amazing run of NBA and NHL playoffs. We put together some clips showing the interaction and perspective you guys provided for us from your game sites in your studio. So let me take a look. Yeah, take a look. Take a look at it. For more on the Bruins and the Red Wings, though, let's welcome in Fox Sports Detroit analyst Darren Elliott. They're Ray, the Razor from Fox Sports Southwest. Riveting. For more on the Hawks, let's welcome in Fox Sports South analyst, better known as the human highlight reel, the Hall of Famer, Dominique Wilkins, TV analyst for the Thunder, good friend of ours, love him on the show, Grant Long from Fox Sports Oklahoma, and we're joined by Fox Sports Southwest play-by-play -play announcer Mark Falwell, who's been around the team a long time. Dominique, let me start out with you. How could a team that finished the season 38-44 and 44 in the regular season, the last team to get into the playoffs, be one win away from a huge upset in the first round? Well, it's two things. I think, first of all, it's matchup problems that they pose to the Indiana Pacers. And two is that the Hawks don't fear the Pacers. All right, Mike, thank you very much. Well, the St. Louis Blues learned today that T.J. Oshie won't play in game one of this best of seven series. And, Darren, that's a big blow to the St. Louis Blues. First things first about the Kopitar line. They have a lot of skill, so they're expected to produce offensively. Having said that, the Kings are a physical team. I expect Roy to have a better series, obviously, than he did last series. And he's going to have to in order for the Pacers to be successful. But if you lose, you are... Score! Slam dunk! Muscles look good with a two-hand jam. Both of these teams hoping to produce some memorable stats of their own. Game four tonight in St. Paul. Now back to Mike in the studio. That's a story from St. Louis. Now back to Mike Hill in our FS1 studios in Los Angeles. On Fox Sports Southwest, Mark Falwell. Looking forward to it, my friend.